For this shape, we need to get the area and the perimeter. So let's start with perimeter. So remember that perimeter is the length or the distance on the outside of the shape. Okay, so that would be all of that. So we already know that this length over here is four, and we know this length and this length and this length. So the only lengths that are missing for the perimeter would be this quarter circle part over here. So we need to work that out. And this length over here. We need to know what that is. Okay, so let's start with this one. I'll just quickly show you that they've told us that this entire length from here to here is nine. So that would be the same as going from here up to here. Right, that would be um, that would have to be the same as this one. So that would have to be nine. Now, if you look at this part here, this is a circle. So if I had to complete the circle, this is the center of the circle. Now we know that when you have a circle, the distance from the center to the outside is the same, no matter where you look. It's called the radius. Now we can see that the radius of the circle, here's the center of the circle, and here goes there, that's four centimeters. So the radius is four. So that means that this length here would also be four, because remember, what we are saying is that from the center of a circle, if that distance is four, then that distance is also four, because it's the radius. So this is four centimeters. So if this entire length from here to here is supposed to be nine, then that means this part here would have to be five centimeters. The only other length that we now need to get is going to be uh, this one over here. Now that's part of a circle. So remember that if you have a complete circle, the distance on the outside, so all of this, remember we call that the circumference. Circumference. And the, the, the distance, I mean the formula for circumference is 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by radius. Now we know the radius of the circle is 4 centimeters. So we could say 2 multiplied by pi. Now your teacher will probably just say use 3.14 and then the radius is 4. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this answer and I'm going to divide it by 4. The reason is is that if you take a full circle and you divide it into four parts, we only have this part of here. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the entire length that we're going all the way around and I'm dividing that by four because we only have one of those parts, okay? And that's why I'm gonna divide by four. We have a quarter circle. Now if you had to work this out, you're gonna get six point two eight centimeters. So that means that this length here is six point two eight centimeters. And so now we can go work out the perimeter. So the perimeter is going to be all the lengths on the outside. So it's going to be this one plus this one plus uh, let's say this four plus 3.5 plus 6.28 and then plus this 4. Add that all up and you get 26.28 centimeters. Now for area, what we will do is you will need to divide this up into different shapes. So for example, you're going to put a line there, so we've got a quarter circle as our shape number one, then you could make, now you could think of this as a trapezium, but if you haven't done trapeziums before, then that could be a bit confusing. So let's rather just think of it as a triangle, so that could be shape number two, then a rectangle, and then another triangle. So let's begin with that quarter circle. So we should remember that a circle has an area of pi multiplied by the radius to the power of two. So for that first 
quarter circle, we could say pi, which is just 3.14, multiplied by the radius, which we said was 4, to the power of 2. But then we're going to divide that answer by 4, because once again, we only have a quarter of a circle. So we don't have the full area, we only have a quarter of it. So that's why I am dividing by 4. And so that gives you 12.56 centimeters squared. Now for shape number two, which is a triangle, we have to do a few things here because this length, well, what we have is we have something like that. Okay, so we know that this length is 3.5 and we know that this length is two because they've told us that this part here is two. So that means this part would also be two and this part would also be two centimeters, okay? Now, remember that this would be, this would be a 90 degree over here. Now to find the area of a triangle, the area of a triangle, it's a half base multiplied by height. But to know which one the base and height would be, they are the two that make 90 degrees with each other. So it is not going to be this one and this one. They do not make 90 degrees with each other. So we need to use this one and this one, okay, because they make 90 degrees. One of those is the base, one of them is the height. It doesn't matter which one's the base and which one's the height, you're going to get the same answer. So what I'm trying to say is that we need to go and find this length. But because this is a 90 degree triangle, we could use Pythagoras. So we could say that 3.5, um, let's just call this side x. So we could say 3.5 squared is equal to x squared plus 2 squared. Remember, it's always the longest one, which is the one opposite the 90 degree. That one is always equal to the other two added together. And then always just remember your squares. And so if we had to go work this part out, you would say 3.5 squared, which is 12.25. Then this part here is just x squared. And then this part here is 4. Now to get this by itself, you're going to end up saying 12.25 minus 4. And so that will give you 8.25. Now remember, to get the x by itself, you will take the square root of 8.25. And if you round that to two decimal places, that'll give you 2. Point, let's write that over here, 2.87 centimeters. And so we now have uh, this length over here, 2.87 centimeters. So now we can get the area of that triangle because we said that the base and the height must make 90 degrees. So we could then say that the area of number two is going to be a half. Now base, you can just use it as 2.87 if you wanted to, or you could have used that one as the two, and then this one will be two. And then if you work this out, you end up with 2.87 centimeters squared. Okay, so that's quite a challenge. Now, let's go look at area number three. That is just going to be a rectangle, very easy, where you've got this length over here is four, and this length is two, and so that would give you um, four multiplied by two, and that would give you eight centimeters to the power of two. And then the last one is the rectangle, I mean the triangle at number four, but that one's really easy because this length is 3.5 and this length is two. So it is the exact same kind of triangle that we had over here. So we don't need to go recalculate that. We can just take the area that we got for that triangle and that was 2.87. So we can just say 2.87 centimeters squared. Now we just add those four answers together. So we had the quarter circle, we had the one triangle, we had the rectangle, and then the last or the second triangle. And so the area is going to be 12.56 plus 2.87 plus 8 plus 2.87. And that'll be 26.3 
centimeters to the power of two. Now, just remember that if you had to use, instead of using uh, where we used for pi, we used 3.14. If you had to use pi on your calculator, you might get a slightly different answer. Okay, so just keep that in mind.